Good morning, welcome to day seven of Vlogmas. I do have a feeling it is gonna be a very short vlog today. There's not a whole lot going on. There's work, there's gonna be uh, dropping my husband's car off to get serviced and then just kind of getting ready for New York tomorrow. But at least I know tomorrow's vlog will hopefully be great. I have to remember to find all of my extra chargers so I can make sure I can keep my camera and my phone charged for you guys. But in the meantime, I figured I would go ahead and open up day seven on my advent calendar. All right, and I did start it again, but I have a feeling this is going to be It's a nice sturdy cardboard. I just wish it wasn't so difficult to open here. Ha. socks. I must have some type of intuition because yesterday's socks matched and today these match these match what I have on a today so I will go ahead and wear them I have this t-shirt is black with white speckles on it so I will go ahead and do that and I will check in with you guys in a little bit because somebody out there needs to go outside it is quite chilly out. You can see there's a layer of frost on everything. And there he is. Well, um, you know what we have? Come on, Lex. We have a lot of deer. Come on. In the backyard. And they, um, he likes to eat their poo, which is really, really disgusting. Sniffing everything. I'm telling you, it's the cold, chilly mornings that I wish he would stop sniffing around everything and just do what he needs to do. So I just wanted to share with you guys, I had, so in April I had gotten a new car, which had, my old car had this bumper sticker on it, which I loved and everyone in town knew where I was at all times because of this bumper sticker. So I had picked this up to go ahead and replace it. It's only been since April, but I need to get my car, give my car a good wash. We're taking it to New York so tomorrow. So on Sunday, I'll get it washed and I'll stick this on it. But then I saw this one and I'm like, I love this. I think I'm gonna bring this to work and put it up in my cubicle. I do need to find a Koi's bumper sticker like this. I had on my previous car and Koi's is, it's come on you Spurs um, for the team Tottenham Hotspur, but because it is a English football team, the stickers are very hard to come by. On top of that, my husband was rear-ended at the beginning of September and he had to have his bumper replaced. So. He needs a new Koi sticker as well, so I've been on the lookout for one of those. So I have about 15 minutes before we have to go, and I'm all ready, so I am sitting down. I'm still working on this heel, which is just, I remember now why I prefer the Fish Lips Kiss heel and the um, Afterthought heel, because it only takes me about an hour to complete both of those, and I am much slower with the heel flap and gusset heels. But I'll get there. I'll work on this now and during lunch. And then I should be good to go on one sock. In worst case scenario, tomorrow morning on the ride down when it's daylight, I'll be able to put the heel in or at least start the heel in the other sock. So I'm going to work on that now. I'm sitting with this guy over here. Oh, hi. And... I'm going to watch, um, I think it's Little Drops of Wonderful, her vlogmas, and I'll leave a link to it below. I'm really enjoying watching her, and I will see you guys in a little bit. So I figured I would just hop on and 
uh, talk with you guys for a little bit while I was uh, driving to work. I was excited to find out this morning that I, I think I had mentioned in my last podcast uh, that I had signed up for Skillshare and have been taking several different classes, some on photography, some on letter, right? Um, hand lettering. That's the word I was looking for. Obviously, I have not had, I'm still working on cup number two of coffee. Normally, I'm on four by now. So, I don't think my brain's quite awake yet. But, hand lettering classes, some uh, journaling, bullet journaling. Although, I think, I love the idea of bullet journaling. However, I think that is, I would rather probably spend my time knitting than a bullet journaling uh, but I don't know maybe I'll give it a try I'm enjoying watching the classes on and anyways this is a long intro just to say that I just found out you can download the classes to a device you don't have to stream them which is exciting because at work I do not have Wi-Fi and my iPad does not have cellular data so it just runs on Wi-Fi so I downloaded a couple classes so I can go ahead and watch those during lunch while I work on my brother's socks so I am super excited about that I honestly don't know how many more times I'm gonna be able to check in with you guys uh, when I get home from work there's going to be a lot of just preparing for tomorrow I already have my external battery packs charging so that I'll be able to charge my phone and my camera I have to find I'm missing my extra phone cord I kind of wish Apple would just go the way with all the other phones and do the micro I don't know what they're called the micro outlets but I don't know where my extra Apple cord is, so I have to look for that. If not, I have extras I can take. I just, I always have one in my purse and it wasn't there when I looked this morning. So I'm going to look for that and prepare for that, lay out my clothes. I'll shower tonight because I don't, it gives me extra time to sleep in the morning. My husband's one, he always has to shower in the morning to wake up and not me give me an extra you know 10 minutes in bed uh, rather than getting up early to shower so I'll do that tonight and lay out all my clothes so that we are all ready to go and I just I can't wait I can't wait to go back to New York and I have been enjoying watching oh, the knit, um, Brooklyn Knit Folk podcast I love her podcast I love her vlogmas and I, I think a lot of it has to do with the clip she always does of New York and the subway stations and the buildings and I think she works by the flat iron building because it's always seems to be in her videos and it just makes me miss New York although I could not live there with children I'm very happy to be out in the country where I am however I do miss New York if my husband and I didn't have children I think we'd still be down in that area so I'm just very very excited if you can't tell because I think that's all I've been talking about today is the um, trip tomorrow to New York but I will stop my ramblings here. So I just wanted to jump on and say goodnight to everybody. We just got in and it is almost nine o'clock already. We had to drop my husband's car off at the dealership and there was just a lot of driving around tonight. So I am heading to bed early because we are heading to New York at five tomorrow morning so I have to be up super early tomorrow so I need to get a good night's rest and I hope you all had a wonderful day today. Bye!